So it's been a while since we've done a massive American girl doll mail haul, and let me tell you, I have bought a ton of stuff since the last time we did this. As many of you know, I just recently moved from Oregon to an undisclosed location in rural North Carolina, and I had to go several weeks without buying anything because I didn't have a shipping address for a while. So as you can imagine, when I arrived, all of a sudden my eBay just was like, Bing! like buying everything in sight, things that I've had on my wish list since being in Oregon, and you know, just getting here and coping with the stress of being in a new house in a new location, and the only thing that made me feel better was buying doll stuff. So today you're gonna see the result of all of that because like I said, we have a lot to get through today. It's so much that I actually don't even know what I've spent on all of it. So you're gonna see it in the title and thumbnail exactly how much this is, and let me tell you, it's not clickbait. So whatever number that is, is what all this stuff is worth. So anyway, yeah, this is gonna be a fun video today. I'm using my new camera. I have a new computer to edit on, but I've lost my title intro for the channel, so I don't know how we're gonna introduce the video today. But anyway, grab a snack and let's look at some doll stuff. Okay, so we're gonna go kind of rapid fire today because there are so many things to get through. And I have a tendency, as you know, to walk through every little detail of everything because I'm an expert on 80s Pleasant Company. So anytime I pull out an item from the 80s, I'm like, let's spend an hour talking about the snow globe. But today I'm gonna try my best to not make this video two hours long. If you're interested in that, maybe hop over to my Patreon if you wanna watch longer doll videos and you can find that at patreon.com slash idreamofjohnny. But we'll talk about that later. Let's look at the doll stuff. So one of the very first things I have here is a first edition version of Kirsten's nightgown. Now this might seem like the same thing you've seen a million times, but this is the first 1986 version of this nightgown with a really thin yarn and it's got, the ends on this are basically look like they were torn. So this isn't like a damaged item. This is how it originally was in 1986. This is the version that was made in West Germany. So it's gonna have a paper tag indicating that it was made in West Germany in 1986, and these would have been made in the goods factory. So this is a really, really rare item. It actually came in a lot of things. I might actually sell this one because truth be told, I actually already have one that's maybe in slightly better condition, but this is a really great collector's item and uh, somebody's gonna be really happy when they purchase this from my shop. All right, buckle up, because we have a few versions of this. Like I said, I've been buying so much stuff and a lot of things come in lots, so Half the time I end up with something that I have like 10 versions of already, but it's just because I was basically the old lady that swallowed the fly to try and get something in the lot. But meanwhile, you have to buy like a hundred things that you already have. So this is a Christmas box set for Molly from 1991. Let me show you the front of it. This is the version where the box was actually a little bit bigger. So this is a little bit on the common side, but it's still very sought after because these snow globes are so rare. So we have the original pamphlet. And this one unfortunately didn't come with the nurse, but it does have the second version of the snow globe, which is very, very sought after. It's the one with the wooden base on it. Let me get it here. It's actually, this is what they were originally packaged in, these little styrofoam boxes. But here is this adorable little snowman and a snow globe that still works and has most of its original water still. These are, again, really, really sought after if you can find one that's not broken. And I have to say, a lot of times the water in these gets really dirty, so it's really great that this one actually looks pretty clear. Sometimes it looks like you're, you shake this up and it looks like he's swimming in a swamp, so this is really great. Another thing that came with this set is an early version of her stocking, and unfortunately this one's covered in cat hair, so I'm definitely selling this. Y'all know me, if it shows up with a bunch of animal hair on it, I'm not keeping it. So um, one really great thing about this is it has the original Made in Taiwan stickers, at, along with the um, Pleasant Company branded one and the generic one. That's really, really cool. Again, this is pretty, I was gonna say mint condition, but I don't feel like you're allowed to call something mint condition if it has cat hair on it. And again, just some random items from the stocking set, an original yo-yo, a candy cane, her paint set, and a Disney flip book. And as you can see, it actually works. And we have another version of this Nurse and Snow Globe set, again, roughly from the same era. This one actually ended up coming with a nurse with 
a little bit of a interesting haircut girl. What's really funny is the original owner got some random, I'm gonna, this looks like it was probably something out of a nativity scene that they took and actually have the nurse holding a baby, but it's to scale. It's really interesting looking. I'm probably gonna leave this with the nurse because I think somebody that buys this might actually really enjoy having this little baby with it because like I said, it's to scale and it's so cute. And again, we have another snow globe. And as you can see, this is one that's gotten a little bit swampy over the years. So it is possible to take these apart and put new water in them, but that's gonna be up to the new owner. I'm not keeping this because this is kind of gross. Dare me to drink it. And finally, the most exciting version of this, I have an early one that I'm gonna say is probably from 1988 if I had to guess. This, actually we can check because this nurse actually came uh, with a version that should have a tag on her. So we'll have a look through the pieces in here. This is again, a partial set. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly check the tag on her to see what year she's from. All right, this little lady is from 1990 and that makes total sense with all of the stuff that's in here because we have a really rare item in here that I'm quite excited about, which I already have, but it's still exciting anytime you get a rare item. So we have a version of her paint set that doesn't have a sticker on the front. We have another flip book, again, a different version, but these were sent randomly, so it's not really a rare version. There, um, I don't think there are rare versions of this. What we do have is a rare barrette. This is the one with the smooth edges, and it's a rare version that we see somewhere around like 1989 and 1990. And the most exciting part of this set is it came with a deck of playing cards. Now, many people don't know that this is actually part of Molly's original collection because Originally, the second version of the snow globes that they were shipping out in the winter were breaking. So what ended up happening was they did a substitution for the snow globes for, I would assume that most kids that got these for Christmas got playing cards instead of a snow globe. So they were originally sent out with a letter explaining basically that they got a deck of playing cards and a harmonica, which unfortunately this one doesn't have the harmonica with it, but I have a harmonica, it's just packed away still. I don't have all my accessories out yet. But yeah, this is an original like to scale full set of how many cards are in a, play, a deck of playing cards is it 52 but yeah if i end up selling this i'll have to go through and count and make sure every single one is there but yeah this is about to be a game of 52 pickups so anyway yeah a really rare item from this set so i was really happy to score this I told y'all this was gonna be random and this is random. So I ended up also getting the child size version of Kirsten's necklace. So again, I don't know a whole lot about these. I think it's really cool to have some of the child size accessories to put on my display, but this is something I got several weeks ago, but I just think it's so cool. I got a good deal on it and I think it's gonna look really great in my display. So I was really surprised at how small this is in comparison to the like doll size version because I expected this to be a lot bigger, but this heart itself is really not a whole lot bigger than the one they had for the doll size version. So yeah, very interesting. And if I tried to put this on, it would strangle me. So we're not gonna do that today, but again, very, very cool. It came with the original packaging, including this little dust bag with like the gold foiling logo that says Pleasant Company. Again, I just think this is so cute and it's gonna look really cool on my Kirsten display. Another item that's a holy grail piece for a lot of collectors is this Cape Island dress from Addie's collection. Collection. So I actually already have one of these that I actually paid a decent amount of money for uh, when prices were a little bit higher, but I ended up getting this on an Addie doll that I was getting. I just got a good deal on her and a Josefina. So I ended up picking this up. This will probably end up in the doll shop for a great price, but yeah, I'm not planning to keep this, but this it came with the original ribbon. It's in really great shape and it's one of my favorite pieces in Addie's collection. I just think it's so beautifully made. And if you've never seen one of these in person before, they're made with like a really nice thick linen material and it's got kind of like a slub to it. it just again, really great high quality piece made by American Girl. I really, really love this. And again, it came with this original ribbon, which is sometimes really hard to find. And speaking of Addie, another really fun piece that I got was her church fair fun set, I think it's called. It's her puppet show. So this is the American Girl version. And I wanna say this version is the one that comes without the whistle. I think they took the whistle out of it in later years. I'm not entirely sure, but the set is still really well made. I'm gonna try and take it out of here without breaking it. I have a tendency to like break things when I'm doing them on camera because I'm so focused on everything that's going on around me. But it actually, to be fair, it took me so long to figure out how this actually pieces together. It was like, um, idiot, <laughs> it goes on like this. So 
slide that on. And it comes with two different backgrounds. One is like already done. It's meant to obviously look like a child drew that. And then you have a blank one that you can do your own background on. So yeah, it's a really, really cool piece. A lot of people really covet this. And for a while it was going for super high prices on eBay. It might've cooled off a little bit by now, but this is still a valuable piece in anybody's Addy collection. And it also came with the original puppets that are made out of spools so yeah this is just a really really cool set i might ultimately sell this one because it's not a first edition but it's in great shape so somebody's really going to want this another really random item i found was an early edition of samantha's purse this one would have been made in either 1987 or 1988 because it has the rare gray lining on the inside. So there were a bunch of different versions of these in 87 and 88, and you can get all different colors. So this one is gray, but there are blue ones, pink ones, red ones, gold. I think there's a rose gold version. So a lot of times like people get really obsessed with these and there are some collectors that have like a good stack of 10 of these because it's really kind of fun to seek them out. It's almost like an Easter egg hunt. But yeah, this is one of the rare gray versions of Samantha's purse. As many of you know, I collect the Our New Baby line from 1990, which is essentially the precursor to Bitty Baby. And I really only collect like the first couple of years of the line. Just, you know, I don't want like a huge baby doll collection, but I remember really, really wanting that stuff as a kid. So it's really fun to kind of finally get these things and really appreciate what good quality this stuff was because it was like the dolls were still made in West Germany and the clothing is just such high quality and I've been searching for this one for a while. This is the boy version of the overalls and the shirt set and I just think this is one of the coolest things that they ever made for the um, Our New Baby and Bitty Baby line. So I finally got my hands on it. And again, admittedly, it looks a little bit like something Chucky would wear, but that kind of makes me like it that much more. But yeah, this is so cute and I'm so happy I finally got my hands on one. And again, I just got some more random things for Our New Baby. This is a bib that I've been missing from one of the outfits that I have, as well as a pair of the socks with the blue trim on top. I also got this original bunting set. I think this is called bunting, but essentially you just tuck the little baby in there and a lot of people will display them just like this. But if you end up getting one of the items that I'm about to show you later or the little wicker bassinet, this looks really great in that. So this is just one of those random items I finally found for a really good price that I can add to my collection. And finally, this is one of the pieces I have been looking for for so long from the Our New Baby collection. It's one from the second wave of outfits they released, but it is my absolute favorite. And it's this little blue hoodie with red lettering on it that says, our new baby. These are actually fairly hard to find. I've been looking for so long and half the time they come up, or actually I would say all of the times that these come up, which is like a couple times a year, people want like a hundred dollars for these. So I was lucky enough that somebody had one that they were selling on Facebook. And because it had like a couple of stains on it that honestly, I think I can get out. I got this for five dollars plus shipping. So I was really, really happy to finally get this piece because again, <laughs> Girl, my baby is not cooperating today. I don't know why his eye was stuck down like that. But anyway, yeah, so this is one of my favorite pieces from the collection. I absolutely love this. Oh, also, he got a new pair of shoes, too. I have another random karaoke dress that showed up on a doll. Every time I get these, I basically have to give them away because nobody wants these. And a really dirty, disgusting kit school outfit. Ugh. A couple more random things for Samantha. We got this early version of her velvet hat, likely from 1988. And this is the rare version of her 1988 hanky. It's really similar to the ones that were released in 1986 and 1987. It just has the 1988 tag on it, making it a 1988 hanky. All right, before we hop into the absolute insanely huge amount of dolls I have to show you today, I wanted to show you a couple of things that I got just recently that I'm really excited about. One of them was something that I have been looking for forever and that is a 1986 version of Kirsten's trunk. Now, as you can see, I've got all the dolls in there like placed just so, and if I try and pick that up and bring it closer to camera, it's gonna end in a travesty. So I'm just gonna kind of stand to the side here and let you marvel <laughs> at its beauty. Uh, maybe I'll get some B-roll so you can see a little bit up close, like the actual details of how this is painted, but it's a little bit different than the versions that we're all used to. So. I have been searching for the 86 version for so long because it is so handmade looking. It's, the quality is different and the painting is, like I said, it's just a little bit different. There are extra brush strokes and it looks like they sprayed on some of the details, whereas like most, like basically the versions from 1987 and onward are all hand painted. So it's a very, very rare item to have. I'm 
don't think you can quite see the feet, but the feet on there are like these little bun feet as well. It's just a really, really great trunk. And I finally have a 1986 version. So if you don't know already, I'm trying to collect the perfect 1986 collection, which is basically everything that was available when the catalogs went out in September of 1986. So essentially Molly, Samantha, and Kirsten and their entire collection from that season, it's basically all of the original pieces. And I'm trying to have the very, very first version of them that was made in 1986 with the original packaging, mint condition and everything. So this is getting me one step closer to having the perfect 1986 collection. And I only have a couple more things to find. So I'm really, really excited about that. And in my quest to do so, I ended up buying a 1987 trunk because I thought that this was gonna be the only version I was gonna be able to find for a while. So when this came up for a good deal on Facebook, I went ahead and bought it thinking that this was gonna be a good placeholder until I found my 1986 trunk that I had been looking for years for. And then wouldn't you know, as soon as this arrived within like a week, this one showed up on eBay. So now I have three Kirsten trunks. I have one from 1986, one from 1987, and then one up there that I've had for a while now, and that one's from 1994. So I probably should get rid of one of them, but I am working on a collector's guide book for Pleasant Company, and it's gonna be really great to have a version of each of these to kind of show collectors the different versions of them. So for now, I'm just gonna have a ton of Kirsten trunks in my collection. The 1987 version of this trunk is still really, really pretty. It's very similar to the 1986 trunk with the exception of there's just fewer brush strokes on this and it doesn't have the sprayed details from the 1987 version. So, or the 1986 version. So again, this is a really beautiful version of this trunk and I probably will keep it for a while because we all know I need all of the storage space I can get for doll stuff. And the final stupid big accessory that I bought that I had no business buying is an original 1990 our new baby child size stroller <laughs> Yes, I was the person crazy enough to buy this off of eBay and it had been sitting there for a few months and truth be told, I really wanted to buy it back when I was still in Oregon, but I at least had enough sense not to buy this and throw this in a moving truck. Y'all, this is huge. Again, it's meant for one of the Our New Baby dolls, but it's like, it's gigantic. I don't even have a place to display this right now. So hopefully in the next house, I'm going to have a doll room and I'll be able to display this. It is so so, so cool. And it is the quality of an actual baby stroller from the 80s. So again, I just really, really had to have this piece. And I know it's probably the single most ridiculous thing I've ever bought in my entire life. And that's saying a lot because y'all have been with me for about a year now and seen some of the crazy things I bought. This is next level unhinged and I am so proud to be this insane of a doll collector. All right, and now we're onto the dolls. And some of these are gonna be rapid fire because there are a ton of dolls today. And I feel like this is what most of you are here for. So I can't wait to show you all of the insane purchases that I've made over the last couple of months. But here we go in rapid succession. Here are some of the dolls that I've bought over the last six weeks or so. First up, we have an American Girl of Today, number 14. Now this one is not staying in my collection, even though I've decided to start collecting some of the American Girl of Today dolls again. This one is one of the more common ones that I got a really great deal on that I'm passing on to a friend of mine. So she's only here for another couple of days, but this is a really great version of her. I believe she's the first edition and her blue eyes really just kind of scream out of her eye sockets. I think this is a really beautiful doll. And part of me is a little bit sad to be letting go of her, but honestly, I have way too many dolls. So this one needs to go, but a really, really great doll. I love these first edition dolls from 1995. Next up we have an American Girl of Today number two. Now this one is staying in my collection. She was one I was looking for for a while and I finally found a good deal on her. I think I got her for somewhere around $30 including shipping which was a really really great deal for her and I've got her in the well a partial Earth Day outfit which is a really really popular American Girl of Today outfit and it's one that I really love which I think I have like four of them because I love these overalls. So yeah, a gorgeous, gorgeous American Girl of Today, number two. Up next in our American Girls of Today, I have a number 10 that I purchased for my collection. And I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna keep her or not. This is one that I have struggled with. Every time I buy a number 10, it just ends up not looking like the correct doll for my collection. And I think I'm on my fourth one now. And so far, this is my favorite one that I've had. 
but I don't know. I'm starting to think I'm never going to find a first edition number 10 that I even like, but um, I even stuck her in my favorite t-shirt and I still am having trouble with this one. So this one is sort of on the bubble for getting sold. I'm not sure. I really love her in theory, but like I said, every time I get one of these, I'm just like, yeah, I don't know. Well, if you want to know how chaotic all of this purchasing has been, in a box of dolls I found a random Be Forever Molly meat outfit, which is something I purchased separately. Ultimately, I want to get a Be Forever version of Molly, but I haven't found one for a really, really great price. But I found a good deal on her outfit, so I went ahead and picked that up. So it came with her purse, plaid skirt, beret covered in hair, and this really adorable cardigan. All right, back to dolls. Another doll that I've been looking for for a really good deal for a long time is Logan. And so I finally found one and he was at the time, I think a good deal, but honestly, I'm probably gonna sell him because I don't particularly love this one. And he's covered in shine marks and stuff, which is pretty easy to fix. Like there's like, I don't know, he, this doll was definitely like played with pretty well, but I don't know, this one isn't speaking to me and I actually purchased a boy doll brand new from Amazon. Uh, I forget his number, I think he's 104 or 103. Uh, one of the new boy dolls that I got for Black Friday. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and sell him just for what I paid for him. And yeah, up next we have a really beautiful Josefina through all of the dirt and wild hairs. But I think Josefina is one of the most beautiful dolls that American Girl has ever made. And this is one that just came with a lot. So I don't need her because she's not a first edition or a glam lash Josefina. So this one doesn't suit my collection, but she's really beautiful and will clean up really great. But yeah, this is one that's probably gonna go in the doll shop or for sale on Facebook. This is a random tan body Molly from like the mid nineties that I severely overpaid for. And if you want the full story of her, it's on Patreon at patreon.com slash I dream of Johnny. But yeah, so I bought this doll thinking it was a 1986 doll and I bought her based off of a thumbnail and I just basically was half awake and bought her and it was this, like just, it was a really funny, stupid story. But yeah, this is a doll that I purchased and had immediate regret over. So anyway, I probably will try and get rid of her, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get my money back. So we'll see what happens to her. Another really fun find from this haul is at American Girl Today, number four, who is one of the most coveted dolls from that entire line. And even though she's not the rarest, I feel like she's the one that's the most popular, so it's still really hard to find her for a good deal. Now, I got this one for, I would say, only an okay deal, considering she's got some haircut, she's got silver eye in her right eye, so she needs a little bit of, let's say, TLC to kind of get her looking better, but I originally purchased her for my collection, and I actually like the fact that she came with her ears pierced because I still don't have a doll with ears pierced other than like Addie and Josefina. I would love to play around with that, but I think this doll probably just needs a little bit too much work for the amount of time that I have. And I just don't think she's quite right for my collection. So I will probably find a new home for her, but I'm gonna sell her for what I paid for her. So whoever gets her is probably going to be really happy they got such a good deal on her. But she is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, her face mold is stunning, but she just needs a little bit of work and unfortunately I don't have the time for it. All right, I believe this is the second to last American Girl of Today doll you're gonna see today. The last one is really, really special, so we're gonna save her towards the end, but this is my number 12 that I just recently got for, again, an okay deal, and I'm just gradually trying to collect the original 20 girls of today, and so the ones that are a little bit more common, I'm just waiting until a really good deal comes up or if I find one that I think is particularly beautiful, so it's only casual collecting for now, so this is was my opportunity to get a number 12. I just think she has the most adorable face, and again, she's a first edition. Edition. As you can see here, she's got the 1995 neck stamp and she's just, again, she's really, really beautiful. I love the dark brown eyes with the blonde hair. So this is one that's going into my permanent collection and I'm really, really excited to have her. And just for fun, I purchased a couple of good stalls for eye donors, but fair warning, there's a little bit of a jump scare for one of them and you'll see why. So yeah, this terrifying toddler actually doesn't look that much different to how I probably looked when I was a couple of years old, but he has what collectors call spooky eyes. They're the really, really light blue eyes that were only seen in the very earliest versions of Kirsten. They're incredibly rare and sought after, but these eyes are the same exact part that the original Kirstens came with. So I actually bought these to swap into another Kirsten doll from 1986 so that I could have like a custom doll basically that looks like the 
originals while I still seek out my original Kirsten. And just another adorable little goods doll. This is the Addy doll that came in the Cape Island dress that I showed you earlier. And one of my catchphrases is, I've never seen an ugly Addy, and here's more proof that every single Addy doll that American Girl has ever made is completely adorable. So this doll isn't right for my collection because she's American Girl era, but she is so, so cute. And I like the hairstyle that the original owner did on her with these little braids that come around to the back. I had a moment there where I thought about maybe customizing her into the second version of number 18 with the bangs, but ultimately I think I've decided against it. This Addy is too pretty, I think, to mess up. So I'm gonna find her a new home but she is absolutely gorgeous. I love her. Another random purchase I have is a first edition Felicity and without getting into all of the details she has the original coloring and eyes of the first Felicities that were ever released in 1991 and just look at her face. She is stunningly gorgeous and honestly I kind of love the hairstyle her last owner gave her. This little braid over the top is really cute but I probably will get her cleaned up and in her original hairstyle and find her a new home. I actually paid a fair price for this doll so I don't think I'm ultimately ultimately going to keep her. So she's probably going to get rehabbed and rehomed. Maybe. Seriously though, isn't she one of the most beautiful Felicity dolls you've ever seen? Ugh. Again, here's another doll that came in a random lot. I already have a number two that I showed you earlier that's going to stay in my collection. This one needs a little bit more work, but I believe she's the first edition based on her neck stamp and her string and everything. So yeah, she needs a new home and definitely a new haircut. But yeah, this is one that showed up in a lot. And another random, why do I have this doll? So this is a late 1980s Samantha with a really up eye. You can see here she's got silver eye and it's unfixable when Samantha gets silver eye. So she needs a new set of eyes, a new haircut. She has a white body, which a lot of people are still looking for their first white body dolls. So this would be a good Samantha for a first time white body buyer. That sounds so weird, but yeah, with a little bit of TLC, she'll be a really cute doll. I just don't think I have the time to work on her because I have so many other projects. So I probably will just go ahead and sell her for what I paid for her. And hopefully that will make somebody really happy. But yeah, she needs a lot of work. All right, another ugly doll jump scare warning. But this is one of the most exciting dolls I have in this entire haul. And that is a 1986 original chipped tooth version of Molly. So I know to many of you, this just looks like another busted ass white body doll that nobody would ever want in their right mind. But this is actually one of the original Mollies from 1986 from the original production run. So I ended up paying a decent amount for her. I paid about nine, a little over $900 for her. But with a little bit of work on her, she'll be worth a little bit more than that. And Honestly, I might want to add her to my collection. I'm not totally sure yet because you really don't know how these dolls end up looking in the end. When they're this bad, you just really don't know what the final result is going to be. So it's TBD whether or not I'm going to keep her. But if I ever find a 1986 chip tooth doll for under $1,000, I always immediately buy them because it's just so rare to find these dolls these days for less than $1,500. Now prices have come down a little bit because the economy is so terrible right now and people are spending money on Christmas presents and stuff. So now's a really great time of year to try and find a really good deal on a doll, which I did with this one. So I am really, really excited to get her rehabbed. And I think I'm gonna do a full video dedicated to her on this channel. We're gonna do like a full head to toe rehab. Her wig isn't even attached and the person that removed it didn't do the best job on it either. So this, we're gonna try to save this wig and see if we can restore it to its original condition. It's gonna be a big challenge, but I might actually be able to do it because I have quite a bit of wig experience now. So I'm excited to tackle this actually. And yeah, so for now she's a little bit bald. She's gonna need a new neck string. We've got to clean her body up, uh, especially her torso. You can see she's got these spots that have developed over the years from the type of muslin that they used to make these early dolls. A lot of them have some material in them that just sort of oxidizes over the years and makes these little like brown spots all over the doll. So that's actually fairly common for a doll this age, but yeah, she's got those original chipped teeth that are hand painted in the goods factory. So. Yeah, this is a very, very rare version of Molly. And I actually have 
As of right now, I think I have three of them in my collection. At one point I had five, which is insane. So this is my fourth one. And so if I end up keeping her, I'm probably gonna swap her out and sell one of my other ones. But I'm gonna wait until she's rehabbed to see how I feel about it. But yeah, this is a really, really rare coveted doll and I cannot wait to get her fixed up. I'm glad I have my windows closed right now because I swear, like being in a new neighborhood, like this looks so normal to me now to like just have some bald raggedy ass doll like in my hands but I swear if one of my neighbors walked by and was like what's he doing it would I would probably have the police called on me but anyway yeah my 1986 chip tooth molly just normal adult things and finally what I think is one of the most exciting dolls that I have bought in quite a while is I finally got my hands on a pristine gorgeous American girl of today number six Yep, that's right, an original number six that I originally thought I would never even purchase because these dolls are pretty hard to find. They're one of the rarest American Girl of Today dolls and people tend to not like to give them up once they get them in their hands. And this one is in mint condition. I don't think she's actually ever had her clothes taken off. I think this is her original outfit as it was placed on her in the goods factory in 1995. So again, a really, really, really rare doll and as many of you may know, number six actually ended up changing to being blonde hair and green eyed. I think it was a couple years after the initial release. So I believe these were on sale for a couple of years, but I'm guessing because they weren't that popular, they ended up changing the hair and the eye color. So not many of these exist, especially in this graded condition. And like I've always said, dolls from the mid 90s, I think really vary in terms of beauty. And I know that that's all completely subjective, but I just see a lot of the classic mold dolls in the 90s that don't really look that great. And I unfortunately feel like a lot of the number sixes fell victim to that as well. I just see a lot of number sixes that I don't think are that nice to look at. I just don't like the way the face mold looked a lot of the times in the 90s. So I was really, really happy to find this doll. And this is what I ended up buying myself for my birthday this year. So I actually think we'll probably do a whole video on this doll because I wanna celebrate not only my recent birthday, but also my recent one year celebration of being on YouTube. So this was the doll that's meant to commemorate that. So I cannot wait to sit down with this doll and show you her a little bit better. But for now, I wanted to include her in this haul because again, she's one of the most exciting things that's shown up in my collection since being in North Carolina. So she's really, really special to me. So I'm so happy to add her to my collection. All right, that's it for today. That was so, so much. I feel like I've been filming for like a thousand hours now, but I'm just insane right now for American Girl. I cannot stop. So my collection has outgrown my display so I have to figure out what I need to sell or honestly I'm probably just gonna buy three more display shelves because I don't know there's just something about these dolls that gets me so excited every time I see one if you enjoyed today's video be sure to hit the like button because it really helps my channel out and if you aren't already please subscribe to the channel because that also helps too don't forget to check out my patreon where I have a video podcast series called doll diaries where I talk about American Girl for about an hour every single week I talk about news rumors gossip drama in the doll community, which we've had a lot lately. So if you want all the tea, be sure to follow me at patreon.com slash idreamofjohnny. If you wanna keep hanging out, you can click this video right here that YouTube thinks you will like. And until I see you next time, please take care of yourself and each other, and I will see you real soon. Bye for now.